no Christmas for us. No Christmas dinners. <laughs> it's like a Rocky movie, man. Uh, but I do run through the streets of Gravesend. It's very lonely. <laughs> they don't even bib me. <laughs> Yo, Emix is up to something. You know what it is. Mic check. One, two, one, two. You know it's a Number one in the UK. Oh, yeah. Number two in Europe. And number five in the world. I boxing because I wanted to do something that would repay me for the effort that I put in. You know, I used to play football. Not everybody always turn up and give the same amount of effort, and that used to kind of annoy me. So I wanted to try out boxing. I tried it out, and uh, we're here today. Yeah, the first session after the first session, the coach was like, "You know what? You're really good. You guys, oh, you can be a world champion." And uh, as, a, as a young person, you, you're looking at this guy and you're like, are you crazy to just see what just happened? And, um, you know, to this day, he still says the same thing to me. So, yeah, it worked out well. So, you know, um, the first season, um, I did the Novice Championships. I won that. And, like, I started getting a bit gas. I started, you know, getting a big head, like, I'm the guy around. You start getting a little reputation. But even then, I didn't believe, like, world champion. It's, it's a different step. Second season, I won the under-20 novice, under-25 novice. I still didn't believe it then. So, you know, I, bought, I represented Jamaica in 2014 in the Commonwealth Games. How that came about, first of all, was I had trials for a Team GB. So at 30, I got to the last three, but I didn't make the last two, which was the two that got on. So I came back home and I was very disappointed. My coach goes, ah, oh, you're a Jamaican, ain't you? Because you got a Jamaican passport. <laughs> he goes, you can go box for Jamaica. So they did the process for, for boxing for Jamaica and got me some sponsors and stuff, and I went out there. And I went on big TV, like the, most, the third most viewed program in the world that I lost, and it was the biggest loss of my life. And I felt depressed. I came out like normally you lose and like a couple people see it and a few people know about it but the whole world knew about it i came back home and i was very disappointed i stayed in my house nobody saw me <laughs> took two years out um came back and you know won the championships and then i was like you know what they're onto something here. so <laughs> those two years that was very different um, I was a lorry driver, I used to drive around all the south, you know, I used to deliver companies like B&Q, um, Homebase, you know, um, all those companies, you know, and I was probably in your area, you know. Yeah, Russia was good. Um, so I finished fifth in the world out uh, there in Russia and um, next, um, well, we're just going to prepare up until the next competition, you know, we have the Olympic qualifications, the European qualifications in London will be at the Copper Box the 13th of March to the 24th. Make sure you come. Um, so we'll just be preparing for that. We'll probably have one competition before that, you know, so it's going to be no Christmas for us. No Christmas dinners. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's what we got. So there's only two opportunities to qualify. You have a European qualification and a world qualification. Based on my performance in the European Games, I would have qualified, which would have been one of the qualifications. But now we just have two, which is in March and then one in um, May. And I will have to finish top four in Europe to qualify. And then if I miss that one, go to the world qualifiers in Paris. I'll have to finish um, top four again in my category to go to the Olympics. Number one in the UK, number two in Europe, and number five in the world. You know, it's just vast more experience, different styles. When you box nationally, your box, all British boxers pretty much have the same same style. So either you're gonna be upright and a long um, boxer, or you might have that little bit of an American style about you. But when you're an international boxer, you have to deal with the Cuban style, the um, Eastern European style, the Russians and the 
Kazakh set, 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 set. They don't jab. They don't throw straight shots. They throw shots like this. Like their shots come like that. So it's different. And um, you just gain a, a lot more experience. Um, you, you're expo exposed to a lot more and a lot more situations. As it gets towards the more business end of stuff, stuff will get more intense. Training will get more intense. And um, yeah, get, get prepared, get sharp. Well, you know, it's it's nothing different, really. Uh, I mean, people bar it up, it's the Olympics, it's, it's this and it's that. But at the end of the day, it's just another competition. So all you gotta do is just do what you've been doing: stay focused, stay on it, stay disciplined, and go out and perform. At the end of the day, it doesn't it doesn't matter what you do. All that matters is that you go out there and perform and get the W. That's the pinnacle of your amateur career, like going to the Olympics and getting a gold medal in the Olympics. So then you build up to become a world champion, you know? Yeah, so of course, I want to be a, a world champion, you know? I'm going to be the first one from Kent, from, from Gray's End. You know what, first of all, um, a big um, shout out to Audley House and Amir Khan, you know, Anthony Joshua, those guys paved the way for us. Um, but no, um, I don't really want to be a celebrity as such. I know it comes with, with the territory, but I'm just a normal guy, I'd say. You know, I, I'm just privileged to be in the position that I am after a little bit of hard work, I suppose. Ego's trip and the humble don't stumble. <laughs> nah, um, I just think it's the way I was brought up, my mum. You know, she was, we, we just come from humble beginnings and it's just, yeah, she, she grinded that in you, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter what you, what you have, you know, at the end of the day, you're still a human being. We all bleed the same and we all have the same feelings, you know what I mean? I'd probably say so, yeah. I don't, as I said, I don't look at myself like that, but a lot of people know, know, know who I am. You know what I mean? I, I wouldn't <laughs> say fans because I, I think when 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 I say fans, I think somebody like big big um, superstar. But yeah, I suppose I have a fan base. Yeah. <laughs> Saying a Rocky movie, bro. <laughs> nah, um, nah, I'm not at that stage yet. I haven't qualified yet. <laughs> I'm not at that stage in my career yet. Uh, but I do run through the streets of Grey's End, it's very lonely. <laughs> they don't even bib me. <laughs> My friend said it to me one day. He was like, oh, C4. I was like, yo, why C4? And he goes, bro, he goes, you're, you're just a bundle of energy, ain't you? And the way that you fight is very explosive, just like a C4. So I was like, you know what? Yeah, we're running. I checked social media everywhere. Nobody had it. I was like, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, it's, it's crazy, like, to think that people want to support me like that and, and put my name on them, do you know what I mean? Um, it's crazy, but um, I appreciate it. Walk on music. I don't really have a set tune. I, I listen to everything. I've been listening to rap. Sometimes I listen to gospel. I'll even listen to, I'll surprise you with this one, um, country and folk. I like a little bit of country and folk, you know, Johnny Cash. No of them, yeah, trust me. So that's a bit of me. I don't really have. Um, I think my last walking song for WSB was Travis Scott, um, Butterfly Effect. It's a good song. I'm, I'm very active in the community, you know. I'm an ambassador for Fight for Change, which uses sport to engage kids that are going through a tough time. And um, yeah, I, I just think it's good to give back, you know. Just like how some, some of my sponsors give back to me, it's just good to give back and show people that there is help out there. Do you know, it's not, it's not hopeless, there's hope. Shout out time. You know, um, as an amateur athlete, you know, it, it helps to have sponsors and our sponsors come from around the community and I'm fortunate to have quite a few. So, um, high scale scaffolding services, um, Cyan Management, Cyan Farm Work, uh, GB Records London, um, JBF Electrical, AM1 Projects, Blake's Lounge, 
David Lloyd's Club and the Altitude Centre in London. You know, I'm very grateful for their support. Um, and it helps me to excel going towards the Olympics in my career. I'll be playing with them keys like lab breath. And all these other looking average one like them bad, but them don't know about this. Bad man take And that's a rap, baby. It's a rap. My zone, just leave me. Girl, just whine and please me. Break your spine, don't leave me.